In today's video, I'm going to look at what resveratrol is and what part it plays in the anti-aging puzzle. And at the end, I'll give my own thoughts on what it all means as usual. Resveratrol is a natural compound that can be found in certain plants such as grapes, berries, cacao and nuts. It is a toxin produced by a plant to act against an organism that is attacking them and was first isolated from plants in 1939. You may have already heard of it alongside the claim that drinking a suitable amount of red wine was well thought to be good for your health because of the resveratrol content from the skins of the grapes used. However, the amount of wine needed for the health benefit would bring with it many other complications we now know come from excessive alcohol consumption. It seems that resveratrol plays an important role in the prevention of many human pathological processes, including inflammation, atherosclerosis and carcinogenesis. Originally, the mechanism was thought to be antioxidation, as resveratrol is a potent antioxidant. An antioxidant is a substance that opposes oxidation or inhibits certain reactions. You see, oxidants are substances that have unpaired electrons, and so they are very reactive and want to become balanced. Unfortunately, they are just as happy to steal that electron from somewhere important, and this can damage our very DNA. This is known as oxidative stress, and the food we consume with antioxidants helps to keep this in balance. Now it turns out that too much can not only cease giving any more benefit, but it can also have a detrimental side. But that is something for a deeper dive. Let's get back to resveratrol. A few decades ago, antioxidants were all the rage, but it did not do too well in some studies and it fell out of favor. Then new insights have made the topic of resveratrol popular again. Here we can see resveratrol has been shown to extend the lifespan of yeast, worms and fruit flies quite significantly and it is thought to be mimicking calorie restriction. It also seems to have a protective effect in many areas, from livers, arteries and muscles, with more mitochondria, less inflammation and lower blood sugar. In addition, all the evidence suggests as to the roles of resveratrol in protecting against cancers, heart disease, stroke, heart attacks, neurodegeneration and more. Indeed, amazing longevity results have been seen, especially in yeast, worms and flies. And although the results from human clinical trials seem less impressive, they have been looking at more real world diseases rather than globally at the problem of aging at the cellular level. But in recent years, we have started to understand things that maybe it was interacting in some other way. And maybe that shows it is just another piece in a very complex puzzle. And not only does it play a different role to the one we first wanted it to play, it is benefited when other systems are also tweaked. You see, within our body, a lot of little tweaks can often have more impact than one large one. The good news is that resveratrol is rapidly metabolized and excreted, and it does not appear to have debilitating or toxic side effects, even at higher doses. These studies show that resveratrol may have various beneficial effects on the cardiovascular system. It has a marked antioxidant effect due to its scavenger capability and effects on enzyme production and prooxidant enzymes. Here we can see resveratrol also has a beneficial effect on metabolic parameters. It can decrease the cholesterol level and improve insulin resistance. It seems now that it is interacting through our sirtuin system. I have done a video on that if you want to know more depth in them, but it seems to interact with SIRT1, where it seems to reduce LDL cholesterol and a polyprotein beta in patients with cardiovascular disease. A polypoprotein beta is the primary protein responsible for carrying fat molecules or lipids around the body. It has also been proven to stimulate fat metabolism in ways similar to other fat burners such as caffeine and green tea by increasing cyclic adenosine monophosphate, which is a derivative of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the energy source for all our cells. Additionally, it has been shown in patients with colorectal cancer that tumor cell proliferation seems to be reduced after surgery. 
while chemoprotective effects have also been found for breast cancer. That the topical application of resveratrol acted as a powerful chemopreventative treatment for skin cancer, and recent studies have shown that resveratrol is a very effective UV filter for use in sunscreens, particularly in combination with other antioxidants. And that is all great, like, yeah, thanks, but what about longevity? The longevity effects of resveratrol in humans, although potentially appreciable, are still unfortunately being contested, and the latest reviews have suggested that resveratrol may be enhancing lifespan by reducing the risk of common causes of death, such as cardiovascular disease and cancer, rather than extending lifespan per se. It has also been proposed that it is its interaction with AMPK and NAD, not CERT1 as previously thought, that may be the primary cause of its longevity effects. Unfortunately, we cannot provide that data right now, but there are many more studies planned, and it seems to have quite a broad spectrum of benefits, and that could well mean it is interacting with a common process that benefits many of the body's complex systems. And whether it is through resveratrol or some other natural or synthetic CERT activators, this is a very interesting topic in the whole long-term health space that is sure to see rapid growth. If you want to find out more about Sirtuins, click here. Otherwise, why not try this one? Thanks for dropping by!